Hey, Gary. Yes, mate. You and Phil ain't got me corner blocks over there, have you? Can't find them in my bag. Nah, I ain't seen them anywhere. Sorry, pal. Hi guys, I'm Red in Builds, and if you're anything like me, you're forever losing corner blocks. Not only that, Gary and Phil, they're forever nicking them and all. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own now, a bit of timber. So, two minutes on the clock, let's go, and see if we can stick to two minutes. Right, okay, so what are you going to need? A piece of wood, any old bit of wood, anything lying around the job, a bit of batten, a bit of 4x2. I find 2x2 is the best, so if you can only find 4x2, which I find is the most common timber on the site, just rip it down the middle, and then get yourself a handsaw. Well, oh, if I'm going to throw it around all over the place, get yourself a handsaw and uh, just cut it up. So I'll show you how to do it right now. So once you've got your bit of wood, like I say, a bit of 2x2 two two is probably quite good. I would say you want about 3 inches, give or take, off the end. So I like to just mark it to start with. And then what you need to do is you need to cut halfway along that line and then halfway down. I'll cut it and show you exactly what I mean because that might not be terribly clear how I'm, uh, how I'm saying it. So it's halfway along the full length of the bit of timber and you want to cut it halfway down. And now you just want to cut along. Now this is normally a little bit awkward because it's with the grain and I find it quite difficult, especially at this angle where the camera is. Now you should be left with something that looks like this. And where that mark is there, you cut that straight off and there's your corner block. And then all we have to do is cut the notch out. Right. That is the basis of your corner block. Now all we need to do is cut a little notch through here and then cut a slice out of this in line with this here. And that will look something like this. This can be a bit tricky to do. With the notch on this bottom part here, you don't want to go too deep. You just want just enough to hold the line. So you see that little notch through there? You cut that bit out and there's a little groove there. It's not very deep, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but it's not that deep, just deep enough for that line to sit in snugly. Now from here, you can cut notches all the way around so you can wrap your line around it and it doesn't, doesn't wobble all over the place. So I'll do that now just to show you. And there we go, one corner block. Perfectly done, nice and finished. And with the amount left over on that bit of wood, I could make enough for me, Gary and Phil. So they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be keep nicking my corner blocks from now on. So, just to show you, I will do a video about how to set up lines and pins. So I'll go through more details in that, but just to show you how it works, much the same as any other corner block. Your line goes in like that. That, that, um, that groove just holds that line nicely, so it'll be just up against the brick. And then the excess that's out the back, you just wrap it in those little grooves like so. Much like you would do with a normal corner block. And there you go. One beautiful corner block. Okay guys, there we go. That's how you make your own corner blocks out of a bit of timber that's just lying about on site. Now I know a few of you in the comments are probably going to be saying, but Rodian, plastic corner blocks are so cheap, they're, uh, they, they don't cost much. Why, why would I bother making them out of timber? Yeah, fair enough. I hear what you're saying. For me personally, I lose so many of these that I, I just don't really want to waste that plastic. I'd rather just make it out of timber. Also, if you have forgotten for some reason to put your corner blocks in your bag and you go to work and you're on, and this is a bit of a bit of a sort of a get out of jail free card, really, just find a bit of wood, knock it up, there you go, jobs are good. And if you are interested in some plastic corner blocks, I will leave links down in the description. If you do go ahead and purchase through them, I will get a little kickback from Amazon because they are Amazon affiliate links, but it's at absolutely no extra cost to you. So there you go, yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you prefer, wooden, plastic? Make your own, buy your own. Please do let me know. If you leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one. So take care, I'll see you. There was one little slip up there, but I tell you what, I'm not doing that again. That's like the 15th time I've done that. That'll do me, I can have some lunch now. See you later. I bet I weren't even recording. I was recording, thank God for that. Not only is it Gary and Phil nicking them all the time, but I'm forever putting them in my bag. Blah, blah, blah. I'm forever putting them in my bag, taking them out. Oh, that's obvious, isn't it? Putting them in your bag. Let's just, uh, what we're we gonna do?
Okay, so for this two minute Tuesday, we're just gonna uh, fucking, let's just start the whole thing again. Right, I'll tell you what. Where's that bit of wood gone? Where the f did I put that bit of wood? I had that bit of wood in my hand a moment ago. Oh, it's right underneath the sword, you Toby. Now we'll see you guys next week. Next week, I'll see you guys later in the week. Fuck, I'll do that again. <sighs> do the whole thing again. And there you go, that's how you make your lovely fuck off. <laughs> what am I saying? They are Amazon affiliate links, so I do get a little kickback from Amazon, but it costs new, costs new. Fuck, I almost got away with it. <laughs> Cool, it's a long old thing to say. Right, let's do that again. Okay guys, and there you go, that's how you make corner box out of an old round bit of wood. If you do, if you do do. Right, okay guys, there you go, that is how you make corner blocks out of a uh, random piece of wood lying about the job site. Lying about the job site, you're not American, you're English. It's a fucking job mate, get on it. Who calls it a job site? Why do Americans call it job sites? I don't know, anyway. Well, okay guys, there you go, that is how you build. How you build? No, you don't build it, you make it. Cool, my foot's going to sleep. A few outtakes in this one. Is that my phone in my pocket? No. Just pleased to see me. <laughs> uh, dearie me. If you aren't already, ring that notification bell for every time. For every time. I almost got through the whole outro without messing up. Shit. I'm not going to cut it, I want it one seamless outro right plastic ones are so cheap you can buy them by a 10 pack for uh, not much money i don't even know how much they are shitty bollocks just get to the point and get out of the video because this is you've been here for longer than it took you to record the entire video doing a bloody outro anyway make your own corner blocks out of an old bit of timber on on the site on the site i keep wanting to say job site i don't want to say job site on the job okay guys there you go that's how you make your own little corner blocks out of a random bit of timber off on site. Oh mate, this is really pissing me off now. <laughs> like the fifteenth time. <coughs> corner blocks are so cheap, what's the point? Oh this fing airplane. Piss off. I might just cut together what I've got. I'll wait for this bugger off. I'm hungry, I want some lunch. That's probably why I'm waffling on. Oh, I just no, it's not because I'm hungry, I'll just waffle. Waffle Wednesday, that's not a bad idea. What do I do? Just turn the camera on and waffle, waffle, waffle. I'll do that anyway, so it doesn't matter what day the week it goes up on. You're talking crap again, Road. <laughs>